COVID-19 vaccines will be required for Michigan Tech employees by the start of next semester. With more, here's ABC 10's Thomas Fournier. Michigan Tech employees will need to receive the COVID-19 vaccine by January 10th. After a federal executive order was issued back in September, students and employees who work for the school through work-study programs or research funded by federal dollars will need to get the vaccine or file an exception by that date. Because much of the work done at MTU is research-based, the school falls under the mandate for federal contractors. University Marketing and Communications Director Ian Rep said the mandate extends to those who work in more general settings as well. I wouldn't say that there's not frustrations with the mandate per se, as there is, you know, figuring out how it applies to to our university and the people that we employ. You know, we want to do what's best for our employees. And so, you know, how we communicate these changes to everybody as efficiently as possible. And we want to make sure that we have the support and resources available so that they can make a decision that's best for them under the, the rules, the mandate sort of dictate. Um, and so while there can be some challenges there, it's our job to make sure that we communicate as clearly as possible. MTU started requiring masks inside campus buildings again. Rep said the action was necessary because of increased COVID-19 spread, both on campus and throughout the county. You know, an, an in increase in numbers that were seen in the campus community as well as in the in Houghton County, um, it made sense. We're still at health and safety level t uh, two, um, but we've we've instituted the masks indoors again, okay. and so we've really been sort of guided by these health and safety levels since the beginning of the pandemic. And at level two, we, we are requiring um, masks and in all, all indoor spaces. And so that took effect this Monday. MTU tracks its own cases through an on-campus testing site. Cases reported by students and faculty who get off-campus testing are also counted. Since the beginning of the semester, the school has counted 59 total cases among students and employees. This is Thomas Fournier with ABC 10 and CW5.